What's this, you say? Uns come out of his cave again? Why, this can only mean a new thing, and possibly the playing thereof. Well, by gum, you'd be right. This time around, we'll be having a go at Astal, an early Saturn game. It's a fairly straightforward platformer, notable mainly for being really, really pretty. Some of the backgrounds in this game are just beautifully drawn. Uh, one thing I should mention, though, is that the combination of Saturn emulation, screen recording software, and my poor aging CPU... Well, if you listen closely, you can hear the screams. Thus, we may run into the occasional patch of emulator slowdown or frame drop. My testing suggests that it shouldn't be too bad, but I do apologize all the same. Anyway, a stall has a two-part introduction, for which I will be killing the mic and capturing the audio directly, so enjoy, and I'll see you after the intros. Somewhere in the universe, the goddess Antawas created a world from a single jewel. She created the earth, water, sky, and air. And two humans from a red jewel and a green jewel. From the red jewel, a boy named Astal. And from the green jewel, a girl, Leda. Lita had the power to create life. Astal's purpose was to protect Lita. Astal protected her fiercely, sometimes too fiercely. He caused Lita shame and sorrow. Still, she loved him. Lita loved Astal. After creating this world, Antawas slept and didn't see the danger to come. As she slept, the evil god Gerardo stole her creation. He sought to change the world to suit his wicked tastes, but Lita and Astal resisted. So Gerardo made his own human, Geist, and told him to destroy Lita. Geist took Lita to the bottom of the sea. Astal pursued them in a rage. In his desperation to rescue Lita, Astal cracked the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Lita was free, but the ocean was ruined. The battle awakened Antawas. When she saw what Astal had done, she banished him. But Lita took pity on Astal and gave him her jewel. After banishing Astal, Antawas battled Gerardo and defeated him. And Antawas slept again.
right, let's do this. Okay, we'll bypass the intro because you did just see that after all. And we'll crack open our options. There's really not much to do here. But I can tune up the BGM a little. That'll be fine. And I'll give myself an extra life because a style only gives you one continue. Uh, it doesn't believe in checkpoints. You either beat a level or you don't. And I'm going to try not to lean on save states too hard. With all that aside, let's roll this truck in convoy. And so the journey begins. Ikazo indeed, Astal. And we'll take uh, just a moment to go over his capabilities. The attack button makes him grab, and if you successfully grab an enemy, he'll suplex the hell out of it and kill it. Uh, down an attack makes him do a ground pound, which uh, only stuns enemies and is kind of unreliable, so I generally don't use it. Uh, jumping and attacking, you do this double knuckle buster, which kills enemies. And finally, if you press and hold the up button, spontaneous male pregnancy. Uh, actually, he's just inhaling. And if you then press attack, he blows out the air, and that can also kill enemies. Uh, as you can imagine by the fact that he smashed a moon and the seafloor, uh, Stala is a pretty strong bastard, despite his misshapen uh, physique. And emulation is looking pretty good so far. A little bit of slowdown, but no more than I expected. This first level is very easy. It's pretty much just a tutorial. The game takes a while to really ramp up the difficulty, but toward the end, uh, especially due to the lack of checkpoints, it can be downright frustrating. And there you see another example of his stall strength. He can occasionally pick up and hurl very large objects. Uh, above me is a fruit, which is a health up. Uh, in the lower left where you see three fruits, that is my current energy. Oh, and what's this? Get out of the way! If you're here to steal the bird, you have to get by me first! Why, yes, I am here to steal the bird. Taste my projectile raisin breath, evildoer! And he's got a few buddies, and I'm going to be uncoordinated. And as you can see, you can throw enemies into other enemies to kill or damage them, which can be very handy. And that's that for the bird guards. Get away from me, you stupid bird! Quit following me! But the bird will not quit following you, and that's a good thing, because it can help you. Uh, at the middle bottom of the screen you see a purple meter, and that is your bird energy. And you can use it to do various functions, uh, the most useful of which is to get it to bring you fruit, which is done with the X button. Bring me fruit! As you can see, my bird energy has been drained. And... Oh, he gypped me! Okay, usually he'll bring you a fruit, which can be good because the game is fairly stingy about health ups, but this time he didn't do it. Well, whatever. Uh, sometimes you see an enemy with energy rotating around them like this. If you kill them, that energy will fill up your bird meter, and that's how you replenish it. Here's another tree for us to throw around, which we will use for some mass carnage. I like Estelle's loud yell. Oh no, their crystal arrows will blot out the sun! Well then, we will suplex in the shade! By the way, uh, normally just pressing the direction button, of course, will make you walk, but to run, like I do sometimes, you double tap. And this here is the end of a level. Yatta, yatta, kimi wa kawareba, zekai mo kawaru. And with that, we head into the darkness. But that's for another time. In the meantime, this has been Un with I Played a Thing, a Stall Edition. Thanks for joining me, and everybody say, Yatta!